Hey everyone, welcome to the Movie Throne. I'm your host, the one and only King Kansas, here to bring you another Theater 31 movie review. And as you guys can see over my shoulders, I'm doing a movie review on Hubie Halloween. Stars Mr. Adam Sandler. It's on Netflix. It was released October 7th of 2020. It stars a phenomenal all-star cast from Saturday Night Live. Like always, I'll go through them, and then I'll give you guys my thoughts on this film. It's about an hour and a half, guys. It's not that long at all, but it had its moments. I'll just leave it at that. So this, this is the cast. Adam Sandler, Kevin James, Julie Bowens, Ray Liotta, Steve Buscemi, Rob Snyder, Maya Rudolph, Tim Meadows, Michael Chiklis, which I was surprised, uh, June Squibb, George Wallace, Keenan Ivory Thompson, Shaquille O'Neal, Ben Stiller. Yes, he's at the beginning of the movie. I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, Jackie Sandler, uh, Karan Brayer, Noah Schnepp, Sadie Sandler, Paris Berkeley. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, China and... Uh, I want to say McLean. I can't even. I can't even read my own writing. That's how bad it is. Uh, Colin Quinn, Kim Whitley, and Blake Clark, and of course Peyton List. A lot of guest appearances. There's probably even more that I'm leaving off the list, but uh, yeah, an all-star Saturday Night Live cast. Kevin Nealon, I think, is the only guy who wasn't on it. So my overall official thoughts. It was fun. It was enjoyable. Kind of tuned in and out of it here and there. It just looked like, oh, it's another stupid Adam Sandler spoof on Halloween. And you're going to have your cheap laughs here and there. And then I would say by mid-film, it started to pick up because he's played this character before. Like a nitwit idiot. Kevin James, again, the cop in this one who doesn't want to listen. He's rude, obnoxious, kind of stupid as well. Everybody came across as dumb. But... He was making fun of the Halloween in a sense and him being the savior of Halloween. And uh, my God, like, but there was memorable performances, uh, typical Adam Sandler film. So if you guys love Adam Sandler, you love what he does with all these kind of films, then you're going to really enjoy this. No storyline whatsoever. They're just trying to figure out why people are missing in town. Who's behind it. And when you think you know who it is, it's someone totally different. Uh, he's been picked on for being a little weird and strange, and I guess the he has to learn to stick up for himself. But people tend to like you know not believe him. You got Shaquille O'Neal making an appearance, which was just hilarious. Radio station, he was like talking like a girl, little things like that. Steve Buscemi was the next door neighbor who was hiding something, so you were wondering was he behind all these people going missing? You had. Uh, Someone who escaped the uh, insane asylum at the beginning of the film and uh, Ben Stiller is the security guard there and he's going after this guy and he disappeared. I think his name was Richie. So we learned to find out it's a particular uh, Adam Sandler friend alumni. Let's just say that member who portrays him. You can only guess who it is because he's been in almost every film, including The Water Boy. But uh, from beginning to end, fun. I couldn't believe... Uh, Julie Bowens is in it. She shines in this one, you know. Not in as, lot as, as much of the movie you wanted to be, but she was in there enough just to kind of keep the flow and, I guess, keep it grounded in some sort of way. She has a thing for him, which is kind of totally lame. I'm like, a, this is a cheesy film. You got to take it with a grain of salt. It is what it is. Just something to pass the time. Uh, kids might not get it or understand it. I think it's more for guys like our ages, like adults young adults like from 20 years old and higher if you want to say that teenagers i don't know if you're going to get it but he did it just to make fun because if he's not going to win movies for like un, uh, you know an oscar for uncut gems he might as well do something stupid like this just to kind of annoy everybody do i think it's one of the greatest movies out there no are you going to miss something if you don't see it definitely not it's not something that oh my god you have to watch this on netflix or you're going to regret it hell no um, but spoilers and stuff, I'm not going to tell you any spoilers. I'm not going to do a spoiler section because it's not really much to spoil because 
it's just stupid Adam Sandler fun. Like you've seen it before. You'll see it in here. All the mannerisms and all the stuff that he, the antics that he does do pull out, pull out in a film is in this one. And the ending is kind of funny, but lame too. But you thought it was going to be a big bang. No, he just basically ends up with the girl. Let's just say that. You know, so there you go, guys. That is my Theater 31 movie review on Netflix's slash Adam Sandler's Hoobie Halloween. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Check it out for yourselves. Come back here in the comment sections. Let me know what you guys thought. So until next time, be the hell good. Check out my other content right here on our channel. And, and most importantly, stay off the King's Throne. And I'll see you here soon with another Theater 31 review. Take it easy, guys.